You just need to lose weight. And 19 Other Myths About Fat People, by Aubrey Gordon is a thought-provoking book that delves deep into the myths and stereotypes surrounding fat people. In this book, Gordon provides a comprehensive analysis of various myths about obesity and fatness and offers a fresh perspective on how we can think about fatness and health. One of the key themes of the book is the idea that fatness is not necessarily an indicator of poor health. Gordon argues that our cultural obsession with weight loss is misguided and that fat people are not inherently unhealthy. Rather, it is possible to be both fat and healthy, and that the focus on weight loss is often more harmful than helpful. Another important theme of the book is the idea that fatness is not a moral failing. Gordon argues that the cultural stigma surrounding fatness often leads to fat people being blamed for their weight and subjected to discrimination and abuse. She also highlights the fact that fatness is often linked to poverty and social inequality, making it even more important to challenge our cultural assumptions about fatness. Throughout the book, Gordon debunks a number of common myths about fat people. For example, she challenges the notion that fat people are lazy or lack self-control, pointing out that these stereotypes are not supported by scientific evidence. She also questions the idea that weight loss is always a good thing, arguing that dieting and weight loss can actually be harmful for many people. One of the most interesting chapters of the book is on the topic of fat phobia. Gordon argues that fat phobia is a form of discrimination that is often overlooked or dismissed. She highlights the ways in which fat people are subjected to discrimination in the workplace, in healthcare settings, and in everyday interactions with others. Another important topic that Gordon addresses is the idea that fatness is a choice. She points out that there are many factors that contribute to a person's weight, including genetics, environment, and social factors. She also challenges the idea that fat people should be blamed for their weight, arguing that this only perpetuates harmful stereotypes and discrimination. Here are short keynotes. 1. Fatness does not necessarily indicate poor health, and it is possible to be both fat and healthy. 2. Our cultural obsession with weight loss is misguided and can be harmful to fat people. 3. Fatness is not a moral failing, and cultural stigma surrounding fatness can lead to discrimination and abuse. 4. Fatness is often linked to poverty and social inequality, making it important to challenge cultural assumptions. 5. Stereotypes that fat people are lazy or lack self-control are not supported by scientific evidence. 6. Dieting and weight loss can be harmful for many people and are not always a good thing. 7. Fat phobia is a form of discrimination that is often overlooked or dismissed. 8. Fat people are subjected to discrimination in the workplace, healthcare settings, and everyday interactions. 9. Fatness is not always a choice, and many factors contribute to a person's weight, including genetics and environment. 10. Blaming fat people for their weight perpetuates harmful stereotypes and discrimination. 11. The focus on individual weight loss ignores systemic issues that contribute to obesity. 12. Health is not solely determined by weight, and there are many other factors that contribute to overall health. 13. Fatness is not a problem to be solved, and there is no one-size-fits-all solution to weight-related issues. 14. Body positivity and fat acceptance are important movements that challenge harmful cultural norms. 15. The medical community needs to address weight stigma and provide better care for fat patients. Overall, you just need to lose weight. And 19 Other Myths About Fat People is a thought-provoking book that challenges many of the common assumptions and stereotypes surrounding fatness. Through her insightful analysis and personal anecdotes, Gordon provides a fresh perspective on how we can think about fatness, health, and social justice.